Well, I guess you can see it's a, another beautiful day out here. Nothing I can do on the house. So I think what I'm going to do today is build some planter boxes for the gardens. I'm going to make them roughly four foot by eight foot. Uh, I'm just going to use, I've got a bunch of two by eights left over. And I'm going to use those for the structure. I've uh, got the galvanized barn metal over there. And I'll line that with the inside of it. And get them set out there in the garden. Get ready to fill them full of soil. I'll grow strawberries or something in them that can hang over the sides. And to give me something to do. It needs to be done. Uh, it's a great day for it. It's raining outside. So I can work on that. Um, get my shelves put in here probably this week. Is get ready to start making soil blocks and get my plant starts going because it won't be long it'll be time to get the garden ready so i'm going to get started on this i've got to go grab some lumber from over on the porch of the house bring it over here and start cutting some stuff out all right guys i spent the last really the last two hours um cutting and changing my dimensions and kind of figuring out which way i want to do it using the materials i had on hand I didn't want to go buy anything. I'm always trying to use up leftover lumber. And this is what I've got. It's uh, four feet wide, eight feet long. I made it 28 inches tall. The metal, I've got this galvanized barn metal that I'm gonna line the inside of it with. And it's 26 inches tall. So it'll stop about two inches before the top. I have not cut my trim pieces to go around the top yet, but I'll get to that. Um, this is just a little pre-assembly. It's just kind of held together. I've got to take it all back apart and treat it before I put it in the garden. I don't want to treat it with chemicals and, you know, dump a bunch of crap in it that's going to get in my food. So, so what I'm going to do is it's an old Japanese technique called shosugiban. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but... Basically, all you do is you take a torch and you burn the wood. You char it. Um, if any of you guys have ever been out and tried to burn up an old stump and, or, you know, found a stump in the woods or whatever that had been burnt previously, you know that you can come back 10 years later and it's still there hard as a rock. You can't get rid of it. Um, it just seals the outside of the wood. It's more of an experiment than anything. I don't know if it's gonna work. This is just regular old yellow pine. Um, untreated, it would probably last three to five years, maybe. Um, depending on, you know, just depending on the weather and the bugs and anything else that gets in it. So this is just gonna be a, a test to see what happens. Um, I don't know, we'll see three or four years from now how it's holding up. If it's still nice and solid, we know that that will work with yellow pine if not then you know do something else make it out of cedar or whatever but i didn't want to go buy cedar just for this when i've got piles of this laying around so i'm going to start taking this one apart <clears throat> i'm going to get the torch out here and i'm going to burn it all brush it off and then put it back together and it'll be time to put the metal on the inside i will have to trim the ends of the metal because i had to use an eight foot lumber i had to shorten this up a little bit and my metal is actually eight feet long. So I'll have to trim a couple of inches off the end of it. And then I'm gonna have to cut, you know, cut it in half anyway. So I'm gonna get this taken apart right quick and see if I can start burning. Have some fun.
Right. Okay, I got that part over with. Maybe I can get to where I can breathe again. You can see all I did was come through and just put a good heavy char on everything. So I'm going to get get it all back reassembled, try to get my metal cut out and get it put in there. And then the outside edges of it, the stuff that you'll be brushing up against when you're working the working the plants in there, I'll brush it off with a little bristle brush so it gets a lot of this, the dust off the outside. It'll probably eventually wash off anyway. But I'll go ahead and brush it off. And maybe tomorrow I'll get the thing moved out there if it's not raining. Okay, there it is. One planter box or raised bed or whatever you want to call it. I need to put a few more screws in it, in the metal. That's some really lightweight metal. I had never bought any that was so thin and flimsy, but it, I mean, it was cheap, so um, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna buckle on me when I go to put the dirt in, but I'm gonna put a bunch of more screws around it so it doesn't stretch. It's kind of hard to, it just makes it stiffer. So I'll get out here in the morning and put the trim piece around the top and we'll be, be ready to put this out in the garden. I may go ahead and build another one. I have enough tin to do another one and two by eights as well. So I'll get it, I'll get it trimmed out. Hopefully we'll get some dry weather here in the next few days. I can get this put out in the garden, some dirt dumped in it, um, put some compost in it get ready to start planting something but that's it quick easy project mostly scrap materials um, i had to buy the tin and i think it was i don't even remember how much it was now eight dollars a sheet and that's only three sheets so 25 bucks cheap enough